All right, let us now work through example two. It says, state the recursion relations for the following sequences. So as you can see, they've given us the sequence. And from the sequence, we need to figure out what the recursion relation is going to be. Let's look at our first example here. Hopefully, you can see that each time, we are clearly plussing three. So that means if I want to write down what my recursion relationship is, I'm going to be keeping in mind that it's linear growth. Now, I'm going to choose a letter here. I'm going to use the letter P. So what I'm saying here is I'm saying P of zero. So my initial value is seven. Now I could have used P, I could have used anything. I could have used T, H, whatever. I've just chosen to use P. Usually the question will specify what it is they want you to use. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, my next term P of one, P of N plus one is going to be equal to E of N. And then as you can see, I'm plusing three each time. So then I put a plus three onto that. So that is what your recursion relation is, should look like. Let's just break it down. You've got your initial value here. Then you put a little comma. Then you say your next term is going to be equal to, here we've got our current term, and then this time we're plusing three each time. That's what it should look like. Let's now go to our next one here. Instead of using P for our next one, let's use another letter. Could be any letter, let's use T. First things first, we're going to look at our sequence and see if we can figure out what it's uh, going up or down by. Well, it's clearly going down. We've got 50, then 10, 10, then 2, 2, then 0.5. We're trying to figure out what the R value is because quite clearly, we, clearly we're dealing with a common ratio. Remember, you want to take your second value. Oh, and this time it would be T, wouldn't it? We want to take our second value and divide it by our first value. So that's going to be uh, 10 divided by 50. We come to our calculator. 10 divided by 50 is going to be 0.2. Oh, what happened there? 50. It's going to be 0.2. Remember, it didn't necessarily have to be the second and first. It could have been like the fourth and third. If I went 0.4 and divided it by 2, I'm also going to get 0.2. So just something to keep in mind there. All right, having now figured that out and realizing that we're clearly timesing it by 0.2 each time, let's now write our recursion relation. Remembering we're using the letter T here. So let me just zoom out a bit. I'm going to go, it's t of zero is equal to, my initial one is 50. So I'm going to say 50. Then I'm going to put a little comma. Then I'm going to go t of n plus one is going to be equal to, now I'm going to go t of n. And then I'm going to multiply it by my r value. My r value is 0.2. So I'm just going to rewrite it here. I could go t of n plus one is equal to t of n times 0.2. Now that's a perfectly legitimate way to do it, but often what you'll find is people do this. They write 0.2t. You don't have to put, oh, t event, sorry, t event. You don't have to put in the multiplication. There's an invisible multiplication there, but we actually don't have to put it in. So it's 0.2tn. So t of n plus one is equal to that. All right, hopefully that has made sense of how we've gone from a sequence to a recursion relation. Something to take note of, just as uh, we come here, is there something to take note of about this unit, is that, well, let's zoom out here a bit, a SAC or exam will always give you the notation to be used, so example VAT. So what's that referring to is you see here we used a P and here we used a T. In a SAC or exam, they'll tell you what it is that you should use. And then it says, when you see the instruction, use the recursion relation or using the model, <coughs> You're expected to show the calculations of each term in sequence, not simply the value. What that second dot point is referring to is what we were doing up here. Do you see how when we were doing it by hand, we were showing uh, each successive step. We weren't just listing the answers 10, 17, 20.5. We were using the recursion relation to show it. So it was all this working out. So that's what this is saying. When you see the instruction, use the recursion relation or using the model. You're expected to show the calculations of each term in the sequence, not simply the value. All right, let's pause here and then we'll go into the next.